Ezekiel 42 is one of those Old Testament chapters that details very specific measurements as part of a message from God, and it's difficult to see the significance of this passage out of context. But Ezekiel is a book of prophecy, and like the other two main prophets, Jeremiah and Isaiah, the book follows a pattern that has a certain symmetry to it. The pattern lays out as follows. First, messages against Israel from God are sent. Second, messages against other nations are sent by God. And thirdly, finally, there's consolation for Israel. Ezekiel at the time was in exile with the other Israelites after being overrun and captured by the Babylonian Empire. God had exercised his judgment and his wrath on Israel for their intentional and hedonistic rejection of his instruction. Back in chapters 6 through 7, we see God's messages of his divine judgment, the first step. In chapters 8 through 11, Ezekiel lays out the vision that God gave him of the destruction of the temple, so judgment. In chapters 13 through 24, we see God's condemnation of Judah and messages of specific judgment on specific nations in chapters 25 through 32. Step two. So chapters 33 through 48 are where we finally see God's consolation for Israel. The pattern of condemnation, exercising of judgment, and restoration is one of the central themes of the entire Old Testament. In chapter 34 of Ezekiel, the Lord calls himself the shepherd for Israel, and in Israel's complete restoration is announced in chapter 36. Back in chapter 37 and 38, we saw the dry bones of Israel being restored to life, and a great battle for the ages ensued. And finally, in chapters 40 through 48, we see the completion of the cycle, and God gives Ezekiel his vision for the end times and the restoration of the new temple. So what are we getting at here? The passages like these in Ezekiel 42 are part of a greater narrative that should be consumed within the proper context. Chapter 42 is part of a specific detail of measurements for the rooms for the priests of the temple. But this temple was prophesied by Ezekiel that would be rebuilt by God. It's a temple situated within a new or even a renewed Jerusalem, which is set high on a mountain, a place of restoration for the exiled people of God. Ezekiel's vision of the temple in the end of times contains very specific metrics, and this chapter may actually be a symbolic allusion, maybe more so than literal, some scholars believe. But nevertheless, the description from Ezekiel 40 to 42 compares very similarly to the prophecy of the end times we see in Revelation 11 and the restoration of the temple and the altar, which may in fact have been rooted in Ezekiel's vision. But it's easy to come across a chapter like this, which is a section of passage about measurements or even lineages or instructions and pass over it entirely without realizing its significance. But the truth is that Ezekiel's visions must be consumed as they were presented by God, as a detailed but patterned symmetry of judgment, punishment, and restoration. This continuum is not at all unlike our daily walk with Jesus in an attempt to shape ourselves into his image. In short, this is the perfect metaphor for sanctification, and also a reminder that all of God's Bible is truth and God's ordained word. It all has value for instruction and for context and for guidance.